Well, with me right now, I have uh, one of my favorite chefs, and actually, I'm going to go out in public and say he is my favorite chef. Oh, thank you. Um, that is Hudson Slater. He is the chef at Asado, and uh, I have known Hudson. Gosh, it's been, I'm thinking probably about a good 10 years. Yeah. Um, and I have been eating Hudson's food um, from Maxwell's uh, to when you were, uh, I didn't have the Tacoma Yacht Club. Uh, but I have had a sado. I think I missed one. Was it? Uh, uh, I was at Merrill for a little bit. Merrill, that's right, that's right. So Hudson is uh, here today, and he's going to be making us. What are you making us? Uh, we're going to do a traditional French omelet. It's something we do at the Starting from Scratch program mm -hmm. uh, pretty early on. Um, it's just a simple uh, recipe, but it involves technique. So mm -hmm. it's uh, something that kids can really grasp. And I love uh, that. to see them kind of mess up one and then do another one really well, and then they're just excited and go on with the rest of the class. I love that. So as, as a chef, um, I have often heard, um, and you can confirm or deny this, that um, when you walk into a restaurant and you're auditioning for a job, one of the things they have you do is they have you either make scrambled eggs or something with eggs, because if you can do eggs, you know your stuff. Is that right? Right, yeah. That's definitely a uh, way to just throw someone in. Uh, it's an inexpensive, inexpensive product. Yeah. And see if they burn the eggs or... <laughs> <laughs> you know, something like that. So it's definitely a, a easy test uh, to put them on the spot with. All right, all right. So how do we get started here? Uh, so it's really simple. Um, uh, basically, we need two eggs, uh, and then this kind of only time I use a nonstick pan is for omelets. Okay. And I use a plastic fork. Oh my so I don't gosh! Scratch the pan. Uh, so to kind of hang on to that in the drawer. My wife always wants to throw it away, but that's the omelet fork. <laughs> uh, and then we just have some butter, and then we're going to make just. Uh, uh, we're going to add just a little cheese, um, just a little lemon zest, and some chive uh, blossoms. Just kind of fancy it up. But the right. main thing we're going to do is the omelet here. So. Okay, so so go ahead and get started here while I pepper you with questions. Yeah, so we're just going to turn our our, little, our fire on over low heat. <laughs> Sorry, a little technical difficulty here. There we go. Oh, there it goes. There we okay, go. we have heat. All right, so we're just going to heat our pan up. I, I love this little tiny pan you have, which, yeah. I, which I think is probably key to what you're making as opposed to like a huge skillet. Right. You Go wanna, with something small. You want to you wanna fill up the space of the pan with whatever egg you're putting in. So this is a good two egg pan. Uh, you know, the bigger you get, the more eggs you want to add. So we're going to just go ahead and add some butter uh, to this. Oh, look at you. Nice knife. Thank you. So, Hudson, um, I have the pleasure of, I've had the pleasure of talking to you about your background, about your family, about how you got started uh, making omelets, and I want to share some of my knowledge with All right. um, our audience. So, first off, did you go to culinary school? I did not. So, I was able to kind of learn on the job. Uh, I fell kind of for cooking when I was washing dishes in high school, and uh, I just haven't really changed since. I've tried to get out and it keeps bringing me back in. I love that. You, uh, when you were growing up, your um, your mom gave you uh, the kitchen one night a week. Is that right? Yeah. So she would, uh, I kind of sparked some interest with the Food Network early on uh, and she would let me cook at home and we'd make, uh, she, they would eat it. They were very kind. And, <laughs> and now, now it's different. They're excited to eat my food. But, oh, I bet. Yeah. I bet. And so I remember your mom telling me when I put her on the spot, um, what was the best thing you made? And I think she said pancakes. Yeah, so yeah. still making pancakes. To You're this still making day. pancakes. Yeah. And yeah. you have a beautiful family. Yeah. You have uh, three boys and one girl. One girl, beautiful wife. Uh, oh, incredible <laughs> wife. Shout out to Miss Tanya. <laughs> we you. love you very much. Um, and um, your second oldest boy, Declan, is interested in cooking, isn't he? They're all very interested, um, but Declan did. Show some interest after Taste of Tacoma. Okay. Uh, seen us on stage, and uh, we cooked a meal just recently together. I love that. I love that. Okay, so you got the butter in there now. Is that salted or unsalted butter? Unsalted butter. Okay. We're going to add some salt to it. So we're okay. just going to get this butter to kind of start bubbling, and uh, that gives us time to uh, whisk our eggs. So you just want to whisk it pretty vigorously with the fork. Um, until all the white is incorporated with the yolk mm -hmm. and uh, you start to see the bubbles uh, happening in the in the bowl here and uh, the key is to not have your pan too hot so you want the butter to start bubbling 
but not to start browning. We don't want any, we'll try to avoid any color on the eggs. There we go. That's kind of the idea. So we're just gonna move the butter around uh, to help, help with that non-stick um, on the pan there. You can use a nice, well-seasoned uh, cast iron. Yes. That uh, will work. Um, but uh, having one non-stick pan uh, that you only use for eggs doesn't hurt. <laughs> Ew, especially if you're just learning, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's very forgiving. It floors me that you're using a plastic fork. Yeah, so this doesn't scratch the non-stick. There we go. So, and since we're doing low heat, um, we're good to go. A wooden fork would work well. Okay. Uh, so we kind of hear it a little bit, starting to bubble. Okay. We've got our, our whisked eggs, and we're going to add to the pan. Nice. So Hudson, for, for people at home that are, that are watching, and uh, you know, we were talking about your segment uh, uh, from scratch and, and really teaching young people how to cook, um, what advice do you have for parents that have uh, a Hudson Slater in their midst who, who wants to cook? Uh, I think, uh, you know, be, be kind. <laughs> there we go. Uh, but definitely, you know, it's good to have constructive criticism, you know, mm -hmm. if you know it's coming from a place of love. Yes. That's how we work at starting from scratch, you yes. know, with the, the young kids there. Uh, and that's how we are with new employees at Asado mm -hmm. uh, and the X group there. So it's just always good to, to be helpful yes. uh, versus negative. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so you're kind of moving this around. I think yeah. we have about two minutes left, which is the beauty of live TV. Yeah, so we're pretty close here. Yes. We're just kind of moving the eggs around. Uh, and we're just going to fill the space. We scrape up the eggs to kind of make it light and fluffy. And then we're going to let that set. So uh, we've got one here ready. Uh, we're going to, it moves pretty quick once you're ready. If you're ever at like a uh, Mother's Day brunch, uh, in line, this is pretty. This happens pretty quick. You can add anything you want in here. We could add a little cheese mm -hmm. right inside. My favorite. This is a little manchego. Nice. Okay. Oh, I have to reach in and grab this. There you go. That was mean. just for you. Thank you so much. Mm. Who doesn't love cheese? Oh, cheese is one little, of the food groups. A little salt on the inside. We kind of season the eggs after. Okay, and then we're just gonna fold. You make this look so easy. So no coloration there. Look at you. And then we're just going to add this uh, to and our here pan goes. here. Beautiful. All oh, right. Hudson, I would give you an A on this. <laughs> Absolutely. And then we just quickly, you know, add a little uh, sea salt. We'll just do a little fresh lemon zest, kind of perk it up. Beautiful. And then just a little chive blossom from the garden. This is that time of the year. Yes, it is. Oh my All gosh. Right. That and just is a little incredible. more uh, cheese over the top. And you're ready for breakfast. Hudson, where can we find this recipe? Uh, this recipe, I mean, honestly, if you just Google the perfect French omelet, okay. it'll pop right up. I love that. Um, you can reach out to me at Asado. Yes. Uh, and I can and, uh, get that to you as well. Yeah, go into Asado and experience all that is fabulous that has your signature on it. I got yeah, to tell you. tradition there with the wood fire <sighs> grill uh, and then we're making some changes. Uh, uh, lots of new specials coming out. So there's uh, some really great things happening at Asado and the X Group. I love that. Thank you so much for what you do for those incarcerated youth and for what you do for our community. You volunteer so much. You give so much of your talent and yourself away. Um, I'm honored to stand here next to you. So thank you so much, Hudson. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. My, my, my pleasure. <laughs> well, that wraps up another great segment of City Line. It is always a pleasure and a privilege to be in your home. We've given you some really great things to think about in this past hour, so please go out there, be a part of the tapestry, and above all, pay it forward. And when you come back, as always, we'll be waiting for you right here at City Line. Take care.